morning from the European Parliament. We just opened a very interesting photo exhibition called Roma Rising. This is the album and this is the author. Hello, um, Chad Evans Wyatt, the author of very interesting uh, portraits of Romes living in Europe. Why this idea? Why Roma Rising? How do you describe the, the whole project? Roma Rising has two sources. One, I came 20 years ago to the Czech Republic to photograph artists, writers, musicians, a project that was called 101 Artists in the Czech Republic. Among them were Roma. At the same time, I started reading texts that described the Roma in ways that my own people, African Americans, had been described 100 years earlier. Genetic deformity, inferior brains, misshapen heads. I said, my God, I had no idea that a minority in Europe was described that way. I was ignorant. I decided to revisit the subject if I could, and I did. Eight years later, I started Roma Rising in the Czech Republic. So the Czech Republic was first, and then you moved to Poland. Now, that's the interesting thing. I wanted to go to Slovakia next, because it would have been a very interesting reunification of Czechoslovakia. But more importantly, 90% of the Roma in Slovakia, in the Czech Republic, are from Slovakia. We know the history. That never happened, and I sort of set it aside, and then I got a call from this small NGO in Wrocław, in Lower Silesia. Mr. Wyatt, would you like to exhibit your photographs in Wrocław? Excellent. So we did, and then we started talking, well, what can we do? Yes, yeah, so we've met during this exhibition in Wrocław mm -hmm. and that um, I proposed to enlarge a little bit the scope uh, to present the Visegrad uh, countries um, and Roma living in this, this, this part of Europe. Well, you're leaping ahead. We first completed uh, Roma Rising Poland. Yes. This is the uh, album. Uh, that took two years and a lot of effort. Thanks to you, by the way. We kept going. <laughs> we knew that you were behind us. Um, and then we said, as you point out, why not go for the Visegrad 4? It, it makes a perfect package, it makes a perfect ensemble. And so we did, we completed that last year. And that's yeah. the exhibition that is now on display. This was a very interesting uh, exhibition, really, and I hope that you will not finish with these uh, four countries only, and perhaps in the future we will be able to present the, the big, the big uh, exhibition uh, of 28 uh, European countries. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a wonderful idea. Um, I think probably what we'll try to do is uh, one or two countries at a time, see how it progresses. Uh, yeah. I think. I think there's a very optimistic um, outlook here because, interestingly, when we were in Slovakia and Hungary, people actually were waiting for us to call. They knew about us. They knew about the, uh, the books. And so I think we would be quite welcome. But it's still a very large undertaking. Yes, one side is the artistic, artistic side of, yeah. of this fantastic portrait, and another side is how to fight with stereotypes. And this is a very important step you are doing. Thank you for coming here. Such Thank a pleasure. you for, for being in the European Parliament. I, and we, we will continue our, our, our way how to fight with stereotypes against Roma people and how to develop this, this minority in Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you.